Yo, we are live. We are live. Got a few people in the chat. Yo, fat cat man, what's good, bro? Know myself. All right, no little so what's good, bro? Um, uh, yo, holiday was good. Yo, last night, man, was it was good. It was good, man. Uh, I don't want nobody to think that. Uh, like we're arguing, it's just like a discussion, it's like a debate and everything. And my thing was, <laughs> real quick recap on last night. Actually, let me get my kids of the day. Let's make the no, let's make the triple threes the kids of the day. So my whole thing was, um, this is a winterized shoe and everything. I know it's not like a winterized shoe, but this is a shoe that will pull out, you know, when it's on. Uh, yo, he won. What's good, man? But this is a shoe that I will pull out when it's raining and everything. Or like you know whatever is is nasty outside, so and this is cooked already, so that's why I went with that. Uh, I actually miss her, so I went back to the playback. I didn't know Chill Time actually wore his shoe and everything. I'm like, yo, look, this shoe's brand new and everything, but Chill Time actually wore the shoe. So salute to Chill Time, man. Yeah, that's my one to beat her, man. This is my one to beat her. So and it's cooked. Like I cooked them already, so it's already cooked. So I'm looking like, yo, why not? So I, I pretty much went with the logic thing, like, yo, I have a beat sneaker, so I might as well pull this as a winter ride shoe and everything. But um, you know, I thought either me or Brooklyn would get it because Brooklyn he had the uh his phone pauses and he, he was saying what he used it for and everything. But like I said, I listened to the playback and everything. But <laughs> it was all fun and games, man. It's cool and everything. I, I had a good time doing doing the battle last night. <laughs> But uh yeah, but Chubu Three, that's the kids of the day and everything. Uh supposed to Henry. Uh yeah, yo, big dog, what's good, bro? But yeah, like I like I said, I when I did when I did this, I was like, okay, a winter ride shoe, don't have one. Zero was like, yo, shoe that you wear in the winter, rain, snow, whatever, blizzard. So I was like, yo, I'm just go with these, man. Cause uh I know Melissa came in and she was like, Oh, but yo, he got Tim's. But she forgot that I gave my Tim's away to her brother last year. So I don't have Tim's no more. So, but I, these are my go to shoes. I wear these to the gym when it rains, whatever. This is the, the shoe that I would throw on, you know. But um, yeah, yeah, that's 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 the pick. So I, I was going on based on like, all right, this shoe is cooked. So I'm going on based on that. But people have different opinions, which I respect. I want a book. Oh, the beef and broccoli. Yo, A1, you so New York, bro. <laughs> the beef and broccoli, man. Yo, that's a good shoe right there, too. I should go boo, I should say. And everything. But yeah, so. Anyways, guys, if you're hopping in, this is Talking Sneaker, episode 15. We're on the 15th episode, which is pretty dope. And everything. I'm sorry I went on a little later and everything. I was out. I did a haircut. I had to put a speech to the house and everything. Um. Also, this is a throwback Thursday talk. So we're gonna get into all that. Uh y'all already know what time it is, man. We gotta get into what's um <laughs> NYC favorite. Yeah, yeah, it is NYC favorite to be from broccoli, man. But people don't really pull those out no more. But that was like a, a must have back in the day, man. The, the beef and broccoli shoes. Matter of fact, I might talk about that too. On TBT. That, that's that's a good one right there, too. Uh y'all yeah, already know. We want to talk about upcoming releases. Let me put the link out there if anybody want to hop on in. We can talk about anything. But yeah, yo, but uh, I want to apologize like the way it went down. I didn't want to like, I know I didn't offend anybody, but you know, that's just, that's just me. Uh, don't forget the mac and cheese, yo. <laughs> so I never change up. <laughs> yo, we NY, man. Of course we never change up. You can take us out of New York. But you can't take New York out of us, you know? But, uh, yeah, I just want to apologize. But the Salusa Chill Town, double champion again. Uh, Salusa Zaya, because the only reason why I, I entered that battle is because I was looking like, yo, it's always Zaya and Chill Town, Zaya and Chill Town. So I was trying to do something a little different and everything. But uh, Salusa, the Salusa Zaya, Zaya was like, yo, let's make it a three-way. And then Josh was like, nah, I'm going to hop in too. Make it a four-way. And then... And then Brooklyn was like, yo, I'm popping in too. And we made a five-way battle and everything. So that was pretty, that was pretty dope and everything. I thought that was cool. Uh, you know, to be like a five-way battle and everything with that. But uh yeah, I, I enjoyed myself. Uh 
good battle. Salute to Henry, man. He's killing it with these battles and everything. But whew, I'm going to be a judge for now. I don't think I'm going to be battling anymore. Uh, I feel like I got a lot of Jordans and Yeezys and everything. So I feel like those are not going to win against people with SBs and everything. Um, I was an SB head. Well, not. Uh, well, yeah, I was an SB head, meaning that I knew about SBs. I like SBs, but I never owned SBs. So I knew, like, I, I was a big fan of it. I wanted them, but not a, ne- never owned it. So I'm keeping it to it. Like, I'm not going to own a pair of SBs. Too expensive to get into it now. Way too much money. Uh, matter of fact, we could probably talk about SBs on the TVT then. Yeah, talk so about SBs, and that would be a good topic to talk about. But, anywho, uh, let's see what's going on here, all right? Let's see what if Sneaker Files updated anything. Uh, so, we'll talk about upcoming releases. Pretty much everything is looking the same. Yeah, everything's looking the same right now. Uh, let me go to IG. My Instagram, refresh. Hold up, let's back it up. All right, so. All right, let's screen share, boom, boom. All right. Um, I found, let me message Henry, tell him I'm live right now. Yeah, I'd rather have OG dunks than SBs, the colors of the ones. I love our people. Like, yeah, uh, that, that's facts. The, old, the, OG, the OGs was, I had a pair of dunks before, so I'm, I'm, I'm not going to knock that. I had a pair of dunks before. See what Henry's doing. Turn my live. All right. Yo, Tamea, what's good, bro? Yo, I already you missed the rant, man. <laughs> when I was talking about uh about the battle last night and everything. But you know, it was like a misunderstanding. I didn't really hear uh I didn't hear what uh Chilton said and everything, but he actually did wear those shoes and everything. But it makes sense what he said and everything. Well uh when I it to me is like the concept, right? It's like the story behind the shoe, right? Like, all right, yeah, this is my once ride shoe. I wear this because I like like for instance, I'm sorry guys, I'm going back to it real quick, right? Uh but I think to me it was your last night. Yeah, that's for me. Like, yeah, boom, true blue threes, right? Uh, uh, I wear these in the rain, whatever. So I'm being more realistic and everything. Uh, Brooklyn, he said, uh, he said, uh, yo, Trumba getting UA plug was good. <laughs> was good, Trumba getting UA plug. But yeah, he was like, oh, um, he actually wore his uh, his phones. I didn't hear, but I think Brooklyn, he said he he took his. His shoes and he snow plowed, he plowed the snow and everything. So yeah, yeah, I took it like that. But like you know, it, it made sense. And then I'm a type of person I listen to the playback, and I you know if if if, if I make a mistake and everything, I'm, I'm man enough to say like yo, my my bad. You know, I made a mistake and everything. You know, like I guess I misheard uh what uh, what Chilton was saying about his shoes and everything. But yeah, 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 my little. Uh, rant of battle and everything, but I feel like the the best rant I have was the powder blue threes and everything. I feel like that made more sense though. But actually going back, listen to what Chilton said it makes sense too. But salute to Chilton, like I said, double champion. All right, all right. So upcoming releases, we're gonna look on IG on Z sneakerhead Z. So we got these. Air Jordan Sixes, the black electric green coming in the summer of 2021. What do you guys think about these? Because these shoes right here 
was definitely supposed to be a um well actually definitely is a uh a PE. So now we got all these PEs coming out, you know, and which is dope about it. Like, you know, I'm not paying ten, fifteen thousand dollars for a PE. So you know, if I could get if I could get the uh if they can make a retro version of the shoe, why not? You know? So these are coming out summer twenty twenty one. Uh you already know they're gonna put their twist to it. If it have like a PE sign on the back. You already know they ain't gonna put down on the back. Probably be a jump man or something like that. But yeah, summer 2021. So we got a whole year for that. Look at the quad for four. 25. It's going long live the sofa. Like, nope. He ain't must. Yo, salute to you, long live the sofa. Um, battling last night, man. That was dope that you hopped in. Yo, and then on the 23rd. 24th and what if the pack 27 the 29th man we got some some Kobe's coming out and these Kobe's are fire y'all I got the yours at the border if anyone needs <laughs> yo yeah I heard the first one trying to get his plug got some the yours at the border if anyone need man scale for customs yeah, these shoes are, I actually like the gold. I like these better. I I think this one right here will be like the best one in my opinion. But the purple ones are hard too, man. And I heard that 824, the next is gonna be uh Kobe's Kobe's day, man. So yeah, I know everybody gonna post up post something up Kobe on your IG, man. Do the respect, you know. RP to him and Gigi. Yo, Brooklyn, what's good, bro? Yeah, the link is the link is in the um in the chat if you want to hop in. But I know you you probably in the middle of moving and everything. If you can't, you know, understand. Oh, the undefeated. Yeah, two undefeated coming out. Yeah, so this is a nice little nice little thing. <laughs> I should have won the LeBron. Yo, you should have yo. You don't live this so about that LeBron category, yo. I'm sorry, cause I got up and I was making Melissa popcorn, and I I just seen Chilltown shoe and I seen Zayn shoe. I go, oh, yo, Chilltown got it right. I did not know, cause um, Henry told me what you what you pulled out, and then I went back and I seen what you pulled out. I was like, oh shoot, like he put some heat. Uh, this is a what if, like where you cut these at a high top. Be honest with you, I'm so used to the low, so I rather get this as a low. So yeah, the low top will definitely be a do for me. But this is a what if, so these are not coming out at all. What they do come out? Uh, I don't know. Jordan Eleven is whatever to me now. We ready to talk about those red flints, those threes. Shout out to Henry for these SBs right here. Cause he kept it a buck, yo. Henry kept it a buck, yo. Henry was like, he liked these shoes when he first when he first seen it. I didn't like it, and he kept the same energy and everything. And there's people out there um, that changed their mind about this shoe, but I like, I like the concept of the shoe. You know, I'm not gonna be the one like, oh, I'm gonna get the shoe, but it's a dope concept right here. Watch this. I know some of you guys already seen this already, but I think this is pretty dope. Like the way they just the color pop, let's hit that sunlight and everything. It's pretty dope. Yeah, and maybe we got the belly of five this weekend and pretty much stuff that we really talk about. Yeah, nothing new, nothing new. Yep. All right, guys. Right now, I have an unboxing. So, Henry, I'm going to put the, um, I don't know if you see it, but I'll put the link back out. I'm going to hop on in. Okay, got an unboxing today. Came in, got to cover it. Oh, you see like that. Come for what's that? This is the the uh the lead W I sell one and everything. Uh it was an online raffle. You already know. I'm gonna dissect the shoe, make sure it looks good and everything. So online unboxing. Got a uh, 
okay, the receipt. I don't want to show my address. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's the Tokyo's. To be honest with you, I thought it's bad on this shoe. Uh, I mean, it is what it is with this shoe right here. I wasn't really excited. I'd rather go for the navy. I'd rather have the navy one. But um, yo, Jimmy Jazz did a dirty. Henry's in the house. Yo. Yo, what's good, bro? Not much. Yo, man. I'm about to unbox, well, I already did unbox the, I the box, but I'm about to talk about these Tokyo ones, man. I took an L on this shoe on, you know, the flex app and everything, but I forgot I did the online raffle, and they just like, remember, remember I was telling you, like, y'all got this, yeah, 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 y'all got a second bit for 220. They know don't sell it that low, man. Hold on to that shoe, bro. He, he doesn't understand, y'all. That's good. A lot of people want that pair, bro. Yeah, hold on to that shoe. I want. I ain't gonna lie. I would want that pair, and I'm not a big one person, but I love metallic sneakers. You know, people go hard. You see the stamp right there. Get that nice paper. Most likely, I'm gonna do a video of this shoe too. You know, do. What you know, size did you get? Your size? I, mean, I got my size, but probably not. Keep them, bro. I don't know. I'm gonna hold on to them. I'm gonna hold them down for a little bit. Yeah, keep them. So we'll be showing the the sticker in the box right here, right? Yeah. That's gonna be good trade day when the Chicago's come out next year. Yeah, yeah. These are, what is it confirmed about the Chicago's come out next year? No, but most likely they probably will. You know, because they keep on saying, like, oh, Chicago ones, Chicago ones, and everything. They keep I on... have a feeling they're going to release it here with the OG. Uh, oh, you bought it for 220 Oh, yeah, okay. Long so, yo, that's a good price. You bought these for. You know, you gotta do yeah, those are fire, bro. You gotta do that I don't care what anybody said. Those are fire, bro. I if money, If money was right, I would go for a size 14. 13 and a half. I, can't, I don't even want to try that one for 13 and a half. Bro. How much are they going for in your size? I have no idea. I, I'll be honest, I didn't check this. You know, it's not like I said, the biggest shoe that I'm looking for this year, other than what I've gotten so far, is the Fire Red Forest. So. Maybe if this shoe would have came in a little earlier, right? I could have probably pulled this out on a battle, you know? Yeah. Um, think of, um, Yo, Brooklyn said he need these in the in the six and a half, man. Yo, Brooklyn, man, I, I'll tell you, man, I had this in my winter clothes again, and it didn't even. Um, you should buy you should buy OG's uh OG suitcase that he has, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry, I laughed at what OG said. What you said? I know what Brooklyn said. What you said? Buy OG's um case, uh, the case, the seventeen case, bro. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah Get yeah. the cushion inside customized to fit those, and bam, you got yourself the actual Tokyo ones that came out in Tokyo. Bro. Nice. I want the ones with the briefcase, bro. No, I, I paid that big though. They are going down slowly, and I kind of want those. Which ones? The the snakeskins. Yeah, but they don't have my size in the snakeskins. Yeah, they don't go through your size. And yo, you know what I thought? All right, so. Put this one right here. So, cause I had the um the 2013 Chicago ones, right? This tongue remind me of that 2013 Chicago ones, and I thought it was gonna be stiff, but this is like leather. I don't know, you guys can see the kind of price. Yeah. And it's really That's soft. Fire you know? bottom, bro. This is really. Tough. That's what's fire bottom. I want the navy one, but now I got these in hand. This is not that bad, you know. I'm telling you, bro, they're, they're fine. Okay. I remember when they did the 25th anniversary one. Which yeah, was... I have that 23 right here, but the 25th anniversary looked okay with the. Uh... Yeah, because it was. It was, yeah, it was all right. But it had a jump in the back. 
And that's the only thing. This one looks better, bro. Yeah. If I had the if I had the the twenty fifth with the suitcase, I mean, but how much is the one with the suitcase going for? Because I think what the suitcase one was the only only right. token exclusive. They go for a lot of they go for a lot of money. Yo, but it's better. <laughs> yeah, but it's better. Hey, do you think it would be bad, right? If I was to cop that pair and then bought a UA version just for the suitcase, <laughs> you, you know what? Yo, firm is good, bro. I, I I I respect it if you do that. Yeah, because all I want is a case. Hey, he's getting care. the box. He's getting the box. He's not. You don't care for the um. Yeah, I don't care for no. that. That's like someone that have legit chunkies. They gonna get the fake one just for the box. But damn, you gotta think about it. You you paying that money for the box though. You paying like what one fifty? Yeah, you box. know how much that suitcase in real life is gonna cost you? Outside of that, bro. Yeah, metal one. Yeah. Cases, they cost about the same way as the UAs. Probably like about two hundred bucks. Well, sneaker reviews coming soon with the shoe. Uh. Cause not all my subscribers probably watch the um live, so I definitely do a review video of this shoe and everything. But yeah, yo, that's a uh, that's a dope shoe, man. I mean, I really want the navy ones though. I, the navies, I'm really feeling those. Gonna, I don't know, bro, cause I heard it's gonna be like almost like that soft new book. You know, I don't, I don't know, bro. I remember back in high school. I remember people used to rock those with the uh. With the chain, you know, with the jump man chain. I remember that. Uh, salute to that store. What's that, yo? I put the um. Uh, put the IG. Matter of fact, let me screen share real quick. Let me show you the IG. Mm -hmm. I feel like anybody put you on a game, guys. Yo, in Brooklyn, this store is in Brooklyn too. All right, let me screen share. All right, this is it right here. Let me make it bigger. Bro, fat cat greedy, yo. No joke, bro. I'm telling you. The Tokyo's hit a different way, bro. And Tokyo's hit a different way. Mm-hmm. No, nah, I don't have you. Yeah, you see it? It's right there on Flatbush. Uh, over there on Brownsville. But they also have one right there on um, Linden Boulevard. Right there by, um, by, uh, damn, what's this place called again? I'll be forgetting. It's not so far from Far Rockaway. Yeah, I know the owner of the store on the Avenue. Oh, okay. So, that's what's up. But yeah, they be having like they, the online raffles and everything, yo. I I, I forgot. Like they, they text me, right, Henry? Uh, I remember I entered this one, right? I entered this one and I entered this. I forgot it's the Japan one, right? They're like, yo, you won the shoe. I was like, oh, where? Yo, they, they busy with that, bro. They're like, yo, you won the shoe. I was like, man, all right, cool, man. And then I was like, yo, wait, which shoe did I win? And then they sent me the email. It was the Tokyo. I was like, oh, all right, whatever. I saw the Tokyos. But yeah, this is the IG if you guys want to follow and everything. So then when they do the, the online raffles and everything, you guys got a chance to, uh, even though it's in the wide, they will ship it out to you guys too. So yeah, so you guys can have a chance to uh, get a shoe for for retail. So I'll put y'all on the game. Can't say I don't do that for y'all. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah, but um, also the owner a couple years ago, I've been a friend since yo, a puppy man. You better yo, yo, since you sent so so I'm a puppy back then, man, you should be able to get all the good stuff. Okay, yo, you sold him, you sold him a puppy. What kind of puppy, Brooklyn? He's from New York, so they might be one of those uh, three foot rats, bro. No, here you go again with the rat, Henry. <laughs> I had to you. Bro. Yo, Chill Towns, yo. Congratulations, Chill. Double champion again. Chill Towns is a two time champ, yo. More than that, bro. He has he had a streak and then he came back. No, he never lost it. He lost well, he lost it to Zaya, so 
he he held the title for that long. He lost to Zaya, and he won again. So that make him a two time. So his he first was, ring, he was dual champ twice. The third time Zaya took it, and the second uh, the no, he was dual champ three times in a row. Thank God, I don't know, bro. Yeah, You've I think done he, I think lot, he bro. Bro. Yo, okay, so I'm gonna say it in your in your live, and hopefully everybody's listening. So I might take D Blake's idea um, after we do, because I want to test it out. Like I said, the non uh, Jordan non Nike battle next uh, next Wednesday. But after that, I really think I might do the East versus West. <laughs> Yo, I, I, like I said, I'm a, I'm a, I'm retired. I can't do none of those battles on well, but I'll, I'll definitely be. In the chat, you know, or if you want me in the um as a panel voter, mm. you know, I need to. I'll be on. Um, I want to be biased because I, I don't want. All right, like let's say you have the chat vote, then people from the East Coast might vote for the East Coast, and the people in the West might. Vote. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you gotta find some unbiased people about it. You know. Yep, and the thing is, I need. I'm gonna need those people. I need. I need people. Represent the East and two with the represent the West. Yo, what's good, Gucci? So, yeah. After yeah. Chief Gun Talk again, yo. So, this is Chill Town. Be on Duke with the champion again. But, yeah, man, I had a long day today. I was out all day. As you see, I got a haircut. Um, Yeah, I was waiting to do this unboxing. Yo, you better go, better. Like, you better go that get a you better go get a Rona test. I was going to get that haircut, bro. Nah, yeah, I definitely will do that. Look at this, man. I messed up my box, yo. Like right here. You see that? Uh huh. That's one thing I hate about getting stuff in the mail, yo. Oh, you got that one in the mail? Yeah, they came in today. I thought it was in the store. Was in New York. It yeah, it's in New York. But they. I, I was asked when I when I call because when they text me right because they, they they just text it to me right they, oh you want to shoot uh you're gonna, you're gonna have an email of co uh, confirming the shoe is yours right yeah. uh, so I like yo so I called and I say hey yo can I pick it up because you know I live in New York and then he was like nah I'm just gonna send it out to you so all right say less say less all right but throw about thirty talk. Uh, I was gonna talk about uh, I don't know I kind of I, I I don't know should I talk about SBs or should I talk about what I originally want to talk about? Should I tell say what size are those? Uh, it's size ten. No, nah, no, nah, I'm not gonna rap for these. No, nah, I'm not gonna rap for these. I might I might hold these for like trade bait and everything. I might do that. I think they're gonna restock. Got like ten haircuts during COVID. I think they're gonna restock again. Yeah. So, so throw about Thursday to Henry. Uh, mm. I kind of want to talk about this. What? Everybody, that's the best for the police, bro. Yo, not bad for a fifteen dollar shoe, you know. No, it's not. Strawberries. I had this pair right here. You remember these? I don't remember them. I just never bought them. Yo. At one point, I ain't going to lie, I thought it was like some design Congress did because of the star right there. And then, you know, uh, but then I found out and there were the strawberries. I was like, oh, snaps. Okay. Well, was I thought it was like. Even berries, right? That's a, that's what they uh. Yeah, Stephen Berry. I think I think that's what they had. That, but, but yo, I just had a pair of those. I had this pair. I think me and my boy had this pair. But this 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 shoe right here, back then was my gym shoe. So whenever I had gym, I like, right, I gotta have my strawberries, you know, because I was not messing up my fresh jays. Yo, 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 hold on. Oh, hold up, bro, bro. Shout wow. out to Troma Edison's UA plug. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's oh, yeah. yeah. So, listen, 
Hey, Tromageddon's UA plug, bro. Hit me up, bro. Hit me up, man. Yo, 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 Tromageddon's UA plug, yo. That should have some strawberries over there because he was very, he's very well known over there in China. Yeah, yo, you know, bro. I gotta see the documentary, yo. There's a documentary on him and everything. Um, no, this sounds like you're done with the fan. Uh, I had the Nick the white colorway. Oh, so yeah, so just I had the Nick's one. I had the strawberry, the bit beans, the horror shoe. The documentary was dope. Yeah, I gotta watch that. I almost, I almost jumped on a pair. I almost yeah. jumped on a pair one day, but then I was like, nah, I can't. Well, Fifteen dollars, man. People, people was actually buying these and stuff like that. Um, hey, one time I wore them. No, they were. But I wasn't getting making fun of. Like this was this was like a hot thing. I remember one time, um, I think I got my sister. Oh, this is why I got her. Yeah, cause they're trying to act like Air Force Ones. I got her this one for like ten dollars. Yeah. The, the the knockoff Air Force One. Damn, you bro, I gotta pay a like that. <laughs> but nah, yo, this shoe right here, man. Like, how you gonna set like your sister up like that with the strawberries? Man? Yo, listen, listen. At the time, Henry, I was 17 years old, so I ain't had money like that, yo. Yo, when Marbury left the Timberwolves, he fucked up. Yo, he wasn't even, I mean, yo, people hyped him up. Yo, I had this one, I had this one friend, right? He was like a big Marbury, uh, a big Marbury yeah. fan. I'm putting the link in the, I'm putting the link back in the chat if I want to hop in and talk about this. I had a friend who was like a big stuff on Marbury fan. Big Marbury fan, yo. And all he would do was talk about Marbury, Marbury, Marbury. He was a big Knicks fan. To this day, he's a big Knicks fan, you know. But the Knicks ain't going good. Anyways. Um, and let me, let, me, let me switch phones because my other phone died, bro. Uh, I'm trying to this phone died. I got you, I got you, I got you. Right, oh, they opened the store in Houston and they sold, and they, oh, they sold out. Yeah. Anyway, got a friend who's a big Marbury fan, right? Um, You know, he's a worship the the ground just got walk on and everything, you know. I mean, Marbury was all right. When I think of stuff on Marbury, because we're talking about some TBT, this is what I think of when I think of stuff on Marbury. Um, I think of NBA ballers. I think of stuff on Marbury. He was in the cover of ballers. The first one, not the other ones. The first game, NBA ballers. That was my game. And no offense to Marbury. My guy was Vince Carter, Tyler Iverson, Kobe Bryant, and Reggie Miller. Those are my guys on NBA Bullets. The other ones, I ain't care about it. But this one right here, this was a good game. You guys remember this game right here? Classic game for the PS2, man. One of the best NBA games. This this game right here, I'd rather play this over 2K. You guys can call me crazy, call me old, but this was my game right here. But now, yo, whew, I like this throwback Thursday talk, yo. Now we're going to talk about some throwbacks. I think of oh, Eden Vesely when I think of. <laughs> Hold on, Brooklyn. I got to put your comment up here. <laughs> yo, my party was not my guy, yo. I don't, yo. Yo, Marbury was not my guy. Yo. Uh, yo, us living in New York, man. Mm -mm. Living in New York, my guy was was Allen Houston. I looked up to Allen Houston and everything. He was all right. Uh, but, yo, this is my favorite NBA game right here. And I still got it. Well, actually, I got it for PlayStation 2, so that's good. Eh. Let's get this one here. There we go. NBA Streets Volume 2. Bro, he played for the top of him and not Mets. Yeah, they did not Mets at all. Yo, this game right here, NBA Streets Volume 2. This right here was the game. Henry's back. Henry, you see what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yo, did you see the, the first game I showed? The NBA Boilers? No, 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 no. no. I didn't see that one because I was trying to get in there. Oh, Spreewell. Yo, Spreewell was the guy, too. Yo, yo I, got, I got the New York people up in here, Henry. Gucci's up in here talking about Spreewell. Yo, Spreewell was the man. Yo, 
Yo, you mean, the, you, mean the, the, you mean the spinner? You mean the spinner dadas? Oh, oh, hold on. Let me get that. Let me get that. Uh, well, my 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 nephew went to uh basically uh as, as soon as uh, Amari Stoudemire left to go play to the NBA, my nephew went into school with that. He said that man, people. <laughs> oh Lord. Yo, but you, yo, yo, but the, the, the spree wall shoes, the thing I like about the spree wall shoes, because, like, I haven't played basketball games since NBA Jam. Yo, NBA Jam was my shit. Heck, yeah. Super Nintendo? Oh, my God, yo. I love this store by Thursday stuff, man. That was my game. The only bad most people made was not trademarking his rounds. Yo, facts, man. You want to and everything. He's the one that invented the spinners, bro, the actual spinner oh. wheel in real life. I know. Yo, girl, I, remember, was, yo, I remember back in the day, yo, mm -hmm. everyone, yeah, everyone always had an Escalade. The, the guys always had an Escalade with the spinner rims. Just so y'all got the free well. Uh, I never then, I never then, then, then him and uh, uh, Dub, uh, Dub uh, joined together and they started doing, then he sold it off to Dub, the spinners, and boom. Yo. Yeah, those free was man. I remember people used to rock these all the time. Where's the black Jones? That's what that. <sighs> that was awesome. I ain't gonna say how I got him, but that's how I, I had him. You did have him? <laughs> yeah. What did you have? I had the black Jones. Hold on, let me find it. No, no. That's that's a that's the uh Kogi mm -hmm. tool. I don't see it. Uh, look at that one. Keep going. They had black ones. Yo, but yo, Henry around this time, even back in the nineties, right? Mm -hmm. What people used to love this one right here. Yep. Yo, back in the nineties and early two thousand, yeah. we used to talk about um other NBA players and in their shoes and everything. I was that one guy that kind of changed. I was one of those people that kind of changed the rules on you trying both both sneakers at a store. You tried on both shoes. Nah, so I got him to bring out the shoes. I tried both, and I was like, "Let me see how they both feel on feet." And then I had a homeboy who was like, "Hey, hey." Can I get this jersey from up here? And as soon as he turned around, boom, I was gone. <laughs> Yo, Henry. <laughs> Yo, Yo, so that, that guy who wanted the jersey, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. on. So y'all was like together or no? Yeah. That was pretty smart. Yo, we did a couple times. We did a, we did a couple times to the stores, which was hilarious. And uh <sighs> I would have, since I had my fro at the time, I would just change the way my fro was looking. Either I had cornrows, or, and then they would never, I don't know how they never caught on. But it just really changed. It came to a point where they wouldn't even leave you alone, bro. I got like five pairs like that. And I sold a couple. I sold those daughters too. I sold them to some white kid in the basketball team. Yo, that's why Ooh. I. I think now they usually have people trying on one shoe. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That was that's the reason why. Henry, Henry, gonna... reason why we got trying on one shoe. Yo, you remember it was like that on um you remember the remember the remember um um remember that movie The Watch? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nah, but we, we did it with my homie. We did it once with the that's jersey the then um, I brought another homie in, and it was funny. So this, <laughs> we did like a heist type of thing, bro. I took a sneaker. My other homeboy was trying on clothes, uh, in the in the fitting room, cause they had clothes at that one, the, the finish line. So the front was all shoes, and the back was the clothes. And he was trying on uh, his stuff. Not just on N ones up in here. And then a the girl saw him only bring on bringing like no, like one shirt, right?
But then I we had another friend that went by and threw him a shirt, bro, that he wanted. Yeah, bro, we were bad, bro. We were bro, bad. Bro. The confession of Henry. <laughs> the confession of Henry back in the day of Foot Locker. Yo, yo, I don't understand. You don't understand, Gucci. They didn't, I don't know how they didn't know, bro. I never, I mean, they, bro, I did it more than one time, bro. I literally got five pairs from that one. It was finish line, too. It was finish line? Yeah, it was finish oh, line in the top. It used to be in the top. Listen, it was in Montgomery Mall. That's all I'll say. Uh, it used to be up by, by Sears. And the N1 sneakers. <laughs> I never really seen anybody like that. Oh, you tripping, bro. It was fire, bro. Especially the Vince Carters right there, bro. And white and red ones. Yeah. I always wanted them, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I like the white and red ones, the Thai cheese, and then I like the um ones that had the big logo on the side, the 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 N one dude, the player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, hold on. What the fuck I said? If people was mad, if people were turning down twenty million dollar deal. Yo, facts, yo. Yo, that's a hundred percent facts, man. I don't know why you did that for. Me. I remember, I remember when he went playing growing up and everything. Yo, you know what I told my cousin, right? I told him, yo, just because you're in the NBA, man, I don't mean anything. Invest your money, you know. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people they back then. You gotta understand, like. They they play for more of the love of the uh, of the game, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It was all and, it was about uh, they, they don't understand that a lot of people took pay cuts to make these these like ultimate teams back then, yo. Just yeah. when, just to try to beat Jordan, they they would try to do that. Like players would take cuts so they could make the ultimate team for um, you know, some fake Jordan sevens. <laughs> Yeah, hold on, hold on, no, no. I wanted to show them like that's the truth, lights, bro. No, 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 no. I'm trying to show people how how it used to be with those fakes. Where is it that? Is that gonna come up people? Mm. Remember like the visible women's? <laughs> I try to well, show the them. visible women's were real. They were just no, 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 no. I'm talking about the, like people since they had that concept of the visible women. Oh yeah, like, they put them on other like on Jordan. Yeah. Like, I even saw him on a Tim, bro. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to. And hey, look at young J Star, bro. You just passed J Star. Shout out to OG J Star. You can tell she was really for game, you know. And then, uh, there you miss it. Young J Star was there, bro. Shout out to J Star wherever he is. There he is, right there. Yeah, that's J Star, bro. He used to be a dope YouTuber, man. Wait, well, he got caught up with some stuff. Nah, he was just cool, bro. Uh, oh, here it is. Here it is. <laughs> you talking about? I'm just like legit, bro. Oh, Henry, what are you saying? <laughs> That's one hundred, bro. Wait, you don't know, know about those, bro. Those were friends and families, bro. Wait, wait, Henry, hold on, hold on. We gotta do a throwback. We gotta do a throwback. We gotta do a throwback. Hold on, hold on. I think you know where I'm going with this. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, remember this? People thought they were so cool with this. On oh, the fake SpongeBob Jones? Yeah, let me put the link out there if you want to hop in, y'all. People thought they were so cool with the fakes, yo. Oh, I don't know about that. I don't know about people that they're cool with the dub's face, bro. Nah, nah, nah. People used to go hard. They, like, 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 people really? Like, nah, nah, where I was at. Well, when I was at New York, well, I was in high school, Henry. I don't think he was in high school at the time. 2005, was he in high school? Okay, when I was in high school, people were like, yo, I got the dubs, I got the sponge bars, I got the sponge bars. I'm like, what? Oh, no. These shits are just for gazes. Oh, no. I never saw anybody with, uh, no, I, you know, I did see a couple of people that got caught up with fake ones, but. They wouldn't. I don't. I never knew that somebody was like, you know. Yo, but again, it's because their parents didn't do the freaking. You know, they went to some, you know, Habibi store. They went to a Habibi store, and then the Habibi store was like, 
I got the new Jordans. I got the new Jordans. Do you want to see the new Jordans? Well, well, what we used to do, well, 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 if you hear Melissa in the background, when she said forty dollars in the back, that's she's talking about those fugazi like that. When I first met Melissa, she had the uh, these double zeros right here. When I first met her, I think this was the first one, the first double zeros, the original that started it all. Oh man, what a throwback! What a throwback, yo. Yeah, what time you fell asleep last night after the battle and everything? Uh, it took me a little bit. I passed out not too long after. Yeah. I didn't, I, I didn't, I fell asleep not too long after. Um, but, like I said, right on the clock, the little one was here super early. So, you know, they, they, they're like on the schedule and everything. You gotta think about it. They probably, she, yeah. she, she used to wake up like early like that. No, she just recently started waking up early again before she would be waking up at like 11. So I was like, all right, yo, yeah, damn, you know, that gives me time. I was like, I can actually, even if I go late live, I'll be good, but yeah, but it's okay. I just take on her, like, when she takes her other nap, I take advantage. Or if she's, like, so into a movie, I usually just take a quick nap, like a power nap, and then just go on with my day, yeah? Oh, boom. Oh, yeah, that's all I want to see. Now, I remember, um... Perm said, DS, I know you ain't retired from battling, G. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I retired, man. Like... <laughs> Oh, oh, like like, like I said myself earlier uh, about the true blues. It's like, well, Perm was actually agreeing with me too, cause like when I, oh, Henry, this is the, the kiss of the day. Sits <laughs> uh, <laughs> right here. That's the kiss of the day. But yeah, like you man, know, now, now, now you trolling, bro. <laughs> now you trolling. Now you just trying. You see? Yo, 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 the kiss of the day. Uh, what was the kiss of the day last week? I think it was the Royals. <laughs> Oh man, no, yesterday was my yesterday kids of the day was the zebra Yeezy because I was trying to troll you, but he was in the air. Maybe some, uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe. I gotta, I gotta, you know what? Um, no, apparent, maybe, maybe, maybe if I, if I buy some more sneakers and everything, uh, maybe I, I'll, I'll do it again. But actually, right now, I don't see myself battling. If someone call me out. Get out battle. If those call me out, I'm not gonna battle. Um yeah. Well, salute to Henry. Henry never retired, he always lose. <laughs> I'm yeah. always losing and I don't do I don't you know. Well you yeah, never not say it. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna say it anyway. He said, you did beat Danny Blake. <laughs> I mean you got Brooklyn in the house. Hold on, Brooklyn. There you go. I'm gonna say it. Yeah. 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 Okay, bro. But oh, this is true. I thought Zay was gonna pull out right here. I thought he was gonna pull. I thought he was gonna pull out the Space Jam lows. Why, bro? I like the Space Jam lows a little bit better than the. High. Nah. Really? The, the Space Jam lows don't have as much details as the high, bro. The yeah. high that that little simple detail where it says SB instead of twenty three. It, 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 it just has the high has a little bit more detail, and it, and it makes you it may it reminds you of a space jam. You know what I mean? The low it looks like no joke, no not to be. It's a like a regular beat. Beat. It looks like a rip off, bro. Yeah, yeah. One thing I, like, I, say I like about the, lows, the lows is that uh, I think I like the lows more because I've seen the lows first before I seen the highs. I just need to be a little bit biased. Yeah, you're, you're becoming you're becoming a hype beast, bro. <laughs> and I'll come a hype beast. <laughs> Yo, book, what's good, bro? How you doing, man? Tell him, tell him, bro. Just sit fucking going through shit, man. Yeah, I thought he was on a hot bag. I thought he was like you were looking at, you know, I thought he was in the middle of moving and everything. I am, bro. I'm literally like just going through my fucking drawers right now, bro. <laughs> and I was no. like, yeah, I keep tapping in the chat, and I'm not fucking getting rid of the shit that I'm trying. I'm trying to like, you know, when you, I know when you move, bro. You just cycle through your clothes, you start throwing shit away. Though, like, I haven't watched it in like four years. Out. Listen, like, if you want to show stuff that you're trying to get rid of, let me know, man. I can put the bitch game on you. 
Bro, I mean, I'm not even trying to sell it. As long as they, like the, the the Nike SB stuff that I have, like just pay for shipping. Anybody if they, if they want it. You better keep your Nike SBs. <laughs> Don't get rid of the SBs now. No, no the, I have, bro, I have a ton of like the SB gear, bro. He like, said he's the, the hats, over. The hoodies, he's, the shirts. He's all about boost now, bro. That's what he said. No, bro. He know nah, bro. Nah, this still, uh, I still got a, yeah, yeah, I don't realize how many SBs I have, bro. Like, I, nah, I'm not sure. <laughs> Yo, person, he got That's because he got the average size foot, bro. Wait, wait, what, what size? 10 and a half, 11? Uh huh. 10 and a half, 11? Hey, I'm a 9 and a half, 10. Yeah, that's a, that's a good size for SBs. You can find those sizes pretty easy. Yeah, I feel like, bro, um, I do remember the fucking the watermelon shirts that I showed yesterday? Them shits are gone. Yeah. Somebody yeah. bought those like in, like 20 minutes ago. Somebody bought them shits. Uh-huh. I was like, get them out, bro. Just get them out. Everything. Bro, uh-huh. I mean, that's another thing. Well, when you move, bro, and you move with like, fucking, you know, a couple hundred pairs of shoes, you're like, fuck, bro. Like, that's when, that's when you realize. Yeah. It's annoying, bro. Uh, Yo, when I was moving... I moved to this apartment right here. Like, yeah, I didn't know. I did not realize how much shoes I had and everything. Nah, bro, yeah, because you don't realize. You just keep fucking buying a box and put it on top of another one. Buying yeah. a box, put it on top of the other one. Because I was looking I like, know, bro. this is not going in the moving truck, right? This is all going in my car. I was like, shoot, I gotta double. You know, I had to make a, like a few trips going back and forth, back and forth and everything. Yeah. I was like, shit. Yeah, I know. I'm going to do it tomorrow, bro. I'm done fucking moving myself. I, I just hire people. Move my shit, please. <laughs> like, you just got to box everything up for them before they get here. You're not that far away from the city and everything. So you're just going up there. Let me see. I think, I think, um, I go about to. Uh, nah, bro, I'm home and like, oh, shit, eBay just sent me a notification. <laughs> uh, you say he's going to Yonkers. I'm like, yo, I've been up to Yonkers. I used to go to New Rochelle. You know that little area of New Rochelle that, that uh, damn, what's that thing called? New Rochelle? It's a little shopping center over there. I'll be over there sometimes. But yeah. But, but, but the, um, let's get back to some SB talk for you SB guys, like Henry. That's probably. I mean, I want to get some SBs back because no joke, I love them the whole constant between as behind SBs, but to find a 13 and a half or 14, yeah, okay. Yeah, no, this is like a bad time to get to SBs and everything. I mean, no, but we, even I've been looking for a while, bro. Uh, even when I got rid, when I got rid of my, uh, yeah, bro. Oh, yep. How you doing, gentlemen? When I got what's popping, Mr. Craddock? What's popping, bro? Yeah, Henry, uh, mm-hmm. I feel you, man. It just it sucks being um. Oh yeah, you're my size. I forgot you're my size. I forgot you're my oh, size. You're fighting tools? Yeah. Remember when you guys were talking about the other day about like Tiffany's is going for just astronomical prices, right, Henry? Yeah. They've been going hold on. for fucking hold on, hold on. 1500 for the last bad, 15 years. Yeah. There you go, Socratic. Mm-hmm. You're, you're my witness, bro. In our size for the Tiffany Lowe's, it has never been no less than a thousand dollars, bro. Brain, yeah. no less. Yeah, bro. Sixty-five dollars, bro, for my pair, son. <laughs> Fuck that shit. Oh, no. I'm not going to stop guess right now. This is crazy. Let's look at the page. Look at the, I'm look 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 for, go. Well, me right now, I would have to use a 13 and a half, 14. And so, a half. it's not 13 no more. So, you know, be, you know, people were telling me, no, your feet are going to shrink. My feet have not shrunk. But I never before I heard you talking about I was watching one of your lives. I was you watching it and you mentioned how uh, your wife's feet mm-hmm. are shrinking. I'm like, I've never heard of that shit before in my life, bro. Yeah, her feet shrunk, bro. So she 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 got well, she's lost like about I think like sixty pounds, seventy That's pounds. Yeah, she probably lost this yeah. the, the the like body fat. She, yeah. she she had um it, it was some uh issue with the pituitary there which messed with her um, or what's it would call her like weight and stuff, and they would like fluctuate so much, yeah. So they, they took no, yeah, that's what they thought it was at first. They tested her for that, it wasn't that, but then they found out it was some uh imbalance or some crap. And now that they're treating that, she's losing the weight and everything. And nice, man. um, yeah, so then she was at a point to. Uh, eight and a half in men, 
And then little by little throughout the years, she started dropping and she was like a seven and now she has six and a, six and a half and she says that even a six and a half don't fit her right. And well, I just, one of the biggest one of the biggest reasons that, of that famous uh, shoe collector Mayer, the reason why he sold all his stuff to yep, Urban Necessity is because he lost all the way. Oh, yeah, like a full yeah, size yeah. down or something like that, right? He lost like 120 or something like that pounds, right? Yeah, he you lose 100 bro. pounds, you do that. But this is a thing, like, I'm an actual true 13. So no matter what, like, I got my foot measured. I'm an actual true size 13, so Your foot either is way. Uh, make it. Oh, man. Yeah. That's facts, bro. Yeah, that's all facts. Yo, the, the lowest one, yo. The strings low, five seventy. That was that was actually better. Nice. I can't do it. I don't know, man. I'm too, I'm too fucking stuck in my way, bro. Be, like paying what the fuck shoes cost to resell now. Bro, I never paid resale. I never paid resale. Bro, yeah. same here, bro. <laughs> Yo, I think the yo. most I was ever guilty of, bro, honestly, the fucking, it's paying, paying like an extra 20 bucks for like a store that like never sees you, you know what I'm saying? But like, most I, 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 did, bro, I did with mom and pop shots, bro, all day long. All day long. Like, and they hit yeah, me up. No, the moment so... it comes in, the moment it comes in the door, they hit me up. Yo, Manny, you want these? I'm like, you already know. But I'm gonna sell you, that's fact, bro. And that's why I had to go to a size 14. But yo, but back in the days, right? It was, that's me. Yo, it was never, it was never hit a Never hit a thousand. Um, yeah, I, it was like two fifty three hundred. You know, you, you know, oh seven, oh eight. Um, so it's rather like me and you was like the same age, both like thirty and everything. Um, that was like two fifty one. Like it was like it was like a lot of money back then. You know? I wasn't paying that much back. Well, the thing is, the most no, uh, the most um I ever spent on a sneaker was two. 257 or something like that, and that's for phone posits. I bought them actually retail, so big per you pay whatever. <laughs> big per, big Is there a sneaker out there, fellas, that you guys are would remotely even pay resale? <sighs> Giving us like a hundred over, think... 150 over. No, I'm gonna do 20, 25 over. I might be for her and there, you know. I'll maybe pay like 20, 25 dollars over resell. I mean, retail. I guess somebody's probably that off some Uncle Dunkers, bro. That's it. It's only I see that's different. I don't know, bro. I almost did that a couple of times. Listen, back in 2014, I, I, I was about to get some Uncle Dunkers. For only three twenty five, bro. Oh, you bugging, bro. And I didn't jump on. on it. I know, I know. Trust me, I, I would have, but I didn't know back then better. You know what I mean? I was like, man, I ain't paying three twenty five for some dumb. You know how stuff? mad Come I am on. of myself for looking at pictures of myself like on a bike with them shits on, just because I wanted to be cool and like something. You know I mean? Like, we got ninety nine percent in. <laughs> hey, listen, Trauma Guns UA plug, bro. Hit me up, bro. Hit me up. <laughs> oh, God. Here we go. Let's do it. We're going for the trigger. But here we go. Look at this. Yo. 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 Uncle Duncan, bro. Shit. Sing out. Yeah, they'll be soon. They're, they're doing the Tiffany's. I mean, they're doing the Tiffany's. No, they're doing the, yeah, the Heineken. Heineken. The Heineken. The Heineken. Yeah. Bro. I went to the 14. They don't even have a 14, bro. Yo. Well, they make a 14 for you, bro. Last sale, last 14? <laughs> they did. They only made a little bit, though. What was the last? Oh, I ain't gonna find out right now. It was probably still a wreck. Yeah. Yeah, my wife was about to give away some fucking Aqua 8s and, mm -hmm. and uh, flu games. And I was like, what are you doing, bro? I don't know. <laughs> she about to give it away? Yeah, it's a uh, niece. I was like, nah, 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 nah. Your wife knows that she gonna make money, but yeah, let her know like, babe, you can make some money with this stuff right here. Sneakers are investment. I wonder if the, I wonder if the Last Dance, if there wasn't no COVID going on, I wonder if the Last Dance would still influence a lot of these Jordan prices, especially in Chicago. Oh yeah, definitely. Yo, 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 with the last thing, right? Like, you know, it was October, right? Let, let's say that's the last thing that happened, right? COVID would happen. 
Do you think some of the GR shit is going to be sick? Let's say there's no COVID, but the last thing's happening. What was the question? Uh, yeah, let's say like the last thing's here, right? But there's no COVID, right? We're not, we're not in um, quarantine. Everything's still normal, right? The last thing's here. Do you think the GR will still be sitting? Mm, it, it, um, it, it, uh, what do you mean? I mean, yeah, GR is like sitting though. So, what do you mean? Like, GR Jordans or the yeah, GR Jordans. GR Jordans. They're not sitting no more. No, no, no. I know they're not sitting no more. And uh, you know, half of it is like I, I think I think half of it is the uh, documentary, and I feel like the other half is the uh, I feel like the other half is the uh, it's because of COVID. You know, something that's like sitting and everything. But bro, I think that. SB had such an impact on Jordan Brand that mm-hmm. that that's also an effect. It's not the major effect, but like if you used to only buy every J, now you now you're like, oh, these SBs are dope too. No, I did not I do that for the, for the for the for the tampon foam pods. They were actually for the Astros, but they got too big, so I sold them because I bought them in a size 14, which I was stupid. Yo, like I said, buddy. Thanks to Travis Scott. Gotta pay that big penny. I don't think think he did that much of a big influence on 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 Jordans too much. I think maybe we asked that question yesterday, remember? Yeah, he I don't think he did that much yesterday on Jordans. Now, did he do it on dunks? Heck yeah. Put it this way, you didn't see still stuff sixes were still sitting. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Fours were still sitting while while his four and his uh six came out and even his one, some ones were still sitting like the bloodlines and some of the, the black suede and some other ones. But look at this now. With the dunks, there's nothing sitting, bro. There's not bro, one as you don't you don't understand, but I can't post up as bees fast enough, bro. Exactly. I can't. Hey, yeah, do you want to donate class. some of your SBs, bro? I could raffle them. No. Yo, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Harry, is that what you said? Bro, well, I don't even make it to your house, bro. Honestly, it's just so, so fucking fast. Yo, is that what you I told was surprised. Is that what you told Zay yesterday? He's sitting, he's sitting behind the house. Basically? That's what I told him, bro. You sit on the house. You sit on the house, bro. Yeah, bro. It's like yeah, he's the one that said it. Bro, yeah, I told him. Him. Your book is like what nah, you said. I told him. Straight up, bro. Like, yo, you're sitting on the house behind you, bro. You don't even realize it. It's back. He, like, he probably has like 100K behind his back, bro. And then, the thing about Taylor is when he got those SDs, he got so, yo, like, so, so lucky, smart. Bro, and I, and I get it, bro. I get the I get the sneaker thing, man, because that, that's such a huge part of my life. I get it. Yeah. But if you like if you've never owned a home bro there's nothing you know, there's nothing like it it's just and when you can when you can just take something that you've had for a couple of years and mm-hmm. turn that into your fucking dream home nah. i, I agree with that sorry you can always buy those shoes over again bro you know what i'm saying yeah and they're crazy how sneakers can be uh equity you yep. know these sneakers will come right back out and everything yep oh uh, they're not going nowhere you know that's why i talk about I like keeping my son's little fucking low key heat. <laughs> His little uh, fucking uh, black cement threes, bad for Yo, but with these right here, right? These right here. I feel like I'm not happy because you see how it's a little bit. The prices are down, right? I have my eyes in it, right? As of what? I'm totally sugar. As soon as they hit like these five. I think I got it for five, but it's actually five point five, I think. Oh, all right, all right. I really want to rent a half to go back soon. You know, as I said, bro, I need those Tokyo Vonza, bro. You can hear me now? I don't want to yell. Your mic is going in and out, bro. I don't know why. Let me get my, let me go get my headphones. Probably something better when I get my headphones. All right. Hold up. 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 Bro, and now, like, I'm so afraid of buying some fucking UAs with those Tokyo ones. Well, I mean, yeah, I wouldn't buy, I wouldn't get him unless I was. Nah, I, I, need, I need her six and a half. I don't even care about myself, but she's over here, like, 
I like when I when it comes to shoes, you know, I can nuts. You know? Yo, yeah, yeah, hear me that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Want, he's like, I want yeah, those. You gotta, right, you gotta get me those. And I'm like, fuck. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why my mic is jacking up. Uh, but yeah, like I was saying with the college my sisters, I feel like I got a good, a lot of good skill with these because especially after the last dance and the COVID stuff, people's getting their uh, unemployment money and yeah. stimulus check. I think they're going like damn near seven hundred dollars now. So I was like, All right, I'm gonna pull the trigger. Oh, and I hate you about the Tokyo one. Did you see it when I did my unboxing? No. Uh. No, I said like Brooklyn. You see the unboxing? I did the unboxing today. Got the Tokyo's. Yeah, bro, I was watching a whole lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I don't want the, the tape is in the ruin of your stream. I don't want to fuck it up. Got you, got you. Got you. But yeah, man. Mm. That's easy, man. It's just a dub, bro. It's just a real dub. I'm like, God, bro, I'm over here like telling her, like, yo, babe, go, go make me something to eat. I'm not even hungry. I don't want to see you fucking unboxing them. <laughs> you fucked up. Yo. You got him? <laughs> Yo, but the way I got him, and I was telling Henry that earlier, like, the way I got him is like, it was like a delayed W. Like, they, they, they test me. Let me look for the test message. Because it was like an online raffle. Did bro, you, what's that? has to be the same fucking owner, bro. There's no Yo, way. Yo, you know that guy, right? I'm ahead of him tomorrow. I'm ahead of him tomorrow. Yeah. Um, where's the text message at? It hit me up on on Monday, and they're like, "Congratulations, you won the uh, Jordan One and everything." I was like, "Damn, this is kind of late." I was like, "Damn, I thought that you know that." These are my Tokyos, bro. Hold on, Henry, I got you right now. These are my Tokyos right here, bro. This <laughs> is Mr. Robotics, bro. So those are. Yo, I never seen you put those out, Henry. I told you, I still got stuff, bro. Look at, that, look, at, look, at that, look at that glitter in the midst in the in the insole, bro. I mean the bottom sole. Yeah. Hey Henry, are, th are those uh, comfortable uh, in the first step in, or you got to break them? Like nah, as soon as you put them in, bro, they they, they, they they it goes right, bro. That's why I fell in love with them, bro. Like I'm telling you, a lot of people listen. As E W, as um, to me for life, bro. <sighs> Telling y'all, man, people sleep on you and just because they look, but bruh, I ain't gonna lie, it's like an oversized SB, bro. Yeah, that's like the opposite of the Tiana Taylor's. Basically, bro, I see the thing is, I had an addiction of trying to get all the metallic shoes. I, I don't know why I'm into metallic 3M or glow in the dark, but like, uh, I was gonna go for the t I wanted the Tiana Taylor, so I got the, the Platinum Jones, which goes. I like the gold, rose gold, right? yeah, going, yeah. and I wanted the gold. You know what I mean? Yeah. I wanted the gold, um, the gold Tiana Taylor's, but I said I got I got the the gold uh, eclipses, which is is, is Olympic, um, like PE basically. Let's go. Let's go. Henry, who makes uh, uh who makes Ewing's? Is it Ewing in and of itself the brand, or are they uh, like, like, so so so? So Ewing started it with, by you know the, the design himself and everything, and he has he has some investors back in the days, but then the brand went to you know poops and it stopped making. And there's one guy who is the guy who basically, if I'm not wrong, I think he even owns Mitchell and Ness or something like that. Um, he he loved Ewing that much that he basically asked you. Well, bought the rights from Ewing, basically. And then Ewing was, Ewing did have or something percentage in, he still has percentage in it, but now, so throwback is said it last time, and I had a feeling there was something like that, because I didn't see Ewing for a minute, and I didn't hear even Ewing brand, uh, I mean, Ewing really talking to, you know, I haven't seen Ewing around the, the brand for a while, you know? Yeah. And I forgot that he started coaching with Georgetown, and Georgetown has a contract with Jordan. So he can't be with no other brand other than Jordan right now. So if I'm not wrong, supposedly he gave his percentage to somebody in his camp, you know, for till the till basically whatever happens in the future. I'm just gonna share this human stuff. Man, this has been popping up on my IG a lot lately. Ever since I've been, it's kind of scary. Ever since I've been, that's what's like talking to Henry. <laughs> he was really popping up a lot on my IG. 
Yeah, I mean, it, it's not a bad shoe and everything. It's not a bad shoe at all. You know? It's a dope oh. shoe. It's just, I don't know. I had a pair when I was like seven. Yeah, hey, I never had one. I, I remember having a pair. They were um, black with a I remember like, seeing them. I remember seeing them in my cousin's feet back in the days, you know, when I was younger and my uncle was living in. He's he's right in Queen. Yo, you know what? No this is a fashion, guys. Well, you already know that, Brooklyn. This is a fashion Queens. That's a fire sneaker, bro. Hey, look at that glow. Dope, yeah, yeah, dope. That, the tongue is 3M, black 3M, bro. And it's like a Charlotte, like a Charlotte type thing. I think it's fire, and I wanted that, bro. Did you go back and got these right here? They sold out. I had those. I had those. With the bags, too? Nah, I wanted it sold out within like minutes. Mm. And that bag was two hundred dollars by itself. Damn. You know, those are fire too, right there. You, you know, I have a little grudge with Patrick Hume, you know, because back in nineteen ninety nine, I could be wrong. I remember ninety nine when the Knicks was going against the. Um, this is going to get the Spurs and everything, I don't care right? No, 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 no. Ewan was hurt, and we lost the we lost the championship because of that. I don't know if you, if you guys remember that, but I Bro, remember the only championship we lost was Ewing not making a fucking layup. Okay, <laughs> by himself, yeah, yeah, nobody in front of him. <laughs> yo, you can't say that. Yes, so you can't say like, yo, Ewing cannot make a figure roll for nothing. <laughs> Bro, yeah, all the space for the layup, and he's like seven two. He yo, it's like right there. Remember, right there, like just. Drop Bro, in, like, seven foot tall, son. Like, oh man, his leg else remind me of Shaq free throws. <laughs> I don't know what. Wait, what's your daddy? I don't know what is worse, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me see what he said. Yeah, ever since I'm talking to Henry, you're all, all popping up. It's humans, humans, humans. You're gonna get a pair soon, bro, and then you're gonna be like, oh, oh, I, I, I told you I was trying to get the all uh, Tiana Taylors. Yeah, but you're going for like a grill, bro. Those things are not going no less than 300. Get oh, yourself before before you invest that money, because I'm gonna tell you, it's gonna be it's, it's not gonna be that easy to move the Tiana Taylors anymore because they're not that popping like right now, like that. Yeah, um, at least in a <laughs> U and a bit, you're not, a lot of you, you know, let me tell you something out of nowhere for some reason. A lot of people are getting rid of the Tiana Taylors. But I don't know why. If I saw the quality was fire, you know what I mean? Bro, I can find bro, fucking right? a beat the fuck up, bro. Jesus Christ. Some bro, people did beat the fuck up. You doing a lot tonight? I don't know. <laughs> it's your daddy. I just told you. Yeah, these fucking 11s are beat the fuck up. Jesus Christ. This is a 20 top there. Oh, what's the name we're showing yesterday? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yo, what's the name we're showing yesterday? Uh, my guy, uh, she was on his 2012. Uh, remember the food, the food thing? The bread. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, he showed his pit and everything. He's the epitome of fucking up your shoes, bro. I love it. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> remember his threes? The, I thought my shoes was messed up. <laughs> I think I only had that right. one. I have a few shoes that kind of beat like that. Uh, I, have, I have like, you know, like fucking mowing the lawn type shoes, but. Yo, yeah, but Brooklyn, I what, I was, what, what I was saying earlier, because like, I didn't hear Chill Town. I thought I was doing something. That's why I didn't hear Chill Town when he said he did wear his shoes or whatever. You know, I listened to the playback and everything. But my thing was like, you know what? I feel like I would have given to you. Because he was like, how you, you, you know, you probably just know with your, with your phones on and everything. Yeah, 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 bro. Facts. Yeah, yeah. You, need a, you need to do a retire on bringing out ones, bro. That's what you need to retire is bringing out ones because you lost with your, your breads. You lost, I mean, you lost with your, your royal. Okay. No, you won with your breads. All my breads. I lost Yeah, you lost with the, your royals. You lost with <laughs> your shadows. Oh, yeah, no, I'm no. surprised. Yo, you're not surprised I always when the fucking New Balances went around? That no, was I knew you were gonna win. That Bro. new balance. Is now, I thought Josh was gonna win with the uh, with the Asics. Nah, I like those New Balance more than Asics. And you know me and my stigma with Asics, with I mean with the uh, New Balance, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My PTSD that everybody says. Like, <laughs> nah, I nah, got some New Balances out, bro. I got New Balances for days. Do nah, it. I, I told you. 
Nah, next, Wednesday, next, Wednesday, next Wednesday, next Wednesday is non Jordan and Nike, bro. bro I don't know. I don't know if you noticed, but like my thing is runners, bro. Like yeah, I have I have planes and I have SBs, and but my my thing, bro, is I love being in a runner. It, to me, there's you know no what? More... It's comfortable. It's like you go up. You know what the ball, thing is? Yeah, big Another crash. thing I was thinking of is that's all that I used to get back in the days. That's all my parents would give me. They would either give me the classic Reeboks with the gray little line. On it, the white oh, ones, the, the suede ones, right? With the black, with the black. No, 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 not the suede. They were the all white leather, but it had the gray one, the gray on it, a little bit of hints of gray on it. Hold up, guys, bear back. And then, oh, um, Henry, and then they would give me that. Had, so I have every Kobe 8 ever, right? Mm -hmm. And then I have, I have an ID and I have every single Kobe 8. But I have, over the years, I think I've had like 40 something pairs of the gray. Reebok Classics with the with the gray gray suede with the black logo. Ooh. But bro, when I tell you, that, I used to pay twenty bucks to them. Uh, what the hell is that story? Yo, um, that's why he ran. Famous, no, famous footwear. <laughs> Melissa famous just. Footwear. That's a stupid ish. I heard you say. <laughs> what she said? Okay. She said that's a stupid ish. I heard, bro. What? Melissa's in the house. Oh, I you? knew. I knew. I'm like, yo, why did you? I'm like, hold up. <laughs> nah, but uh, this is my girlfriend what's trolling. What's the stupidest shit? What's the stupidest shit? She's just trolling. Wearing your shoes? Trolling. I don't care, bro. I don't give a fuck. Hold on. So, grab it. Mine dropped out. Let me drop the link again for him if he want to hop back in. I don't know what happened. No, no. I don't know if I'm going to. 1999, bro. Them fucking Reeboks. I loved them, bro. Loved them. Which ones? And they not. They, they were all gray suede with the black logo. Oh, no problem. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. But that's the thing. Like, all throughout high school and stuff, that was, like, the go-to because it was, like, so cheap. You know what I mean? School, bro. That shit was, like, my, my fucking, like, driving a brand new Beamer with them shits on. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Yo, but we no, got listen, me, so, no, listen, always listen, Iverson, no. always go for my Iverson So, like, throughout, throughout, like, I'm not even high school. Throughout my, all, all my, my school year, I mean, my school, I guess, schooling, like, you know, from elementary, middle, and... High school, that's what my parents would get me. Well, my dad would give me some flights because he was into flights, you know. His thing was Air Max and flights. And that's what he would get me. And then when I got into high school and I got my own money, you know, I started doing my own hustles and everything. That's when I started getting my like own phones, like my own, you know, Jordans, like, you know, my own basketball sneakers, the Rod Man. I never owned a phone until the Spider-Man phones. Really? Oh, my, yeah, first, my first phones, I think either it was the Corf Drops or the Pewters. I know it was the Corf Drops. It was the Corf Drops, and then I had like some black, um, the old black phones. My yeah, first one, phone. my first one was the Royal, right? I'm just gonna share some. And then um, the Royals, are, I love the Royals. The Royals. When was the first, yeah, I wanted to pay. I wanted to pay Royals, bro. When was the first first drop of the eggplant? Of the what? No, the eggplants. Oh, uh, two thousand nine. That was no, no, no. They're the OG drop or the or the the OG eggplant. Ninety seven, I want to say. <clears throat> right. Mm hmm. That's what I was telling these guys last time because I remember yeah. I had them in high school. Because they didn't, they didn't. The 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 phones would drop were like just the start of a basketball season. They didn't, they didn't care about like. It wasn't a retro. It was just like, oh, here's another colorway. Oh, here's another colorway. Yeah, that's what I remember having. Not, ha I didn't get to have any. But I, no, I, I saw them when I, I was in seventh grade. I remember yeah, like, like I had the Royals for a little bit. Then I had the Pros. I forget what, what Pros were. I forget what the all black Jones I think. Or it was like a black and gray or something like that. And, you know, like us, the, the, the homies, we were all trade sneakers between each other, you know? Yeah, I think I, had these, I, I think I had these ever since I was I had the answers. I had the white and gray one. I had these. I had these. Yo, I had the white and gray one. When my mom, when my mom used to take me like like shopping and everything, we used to go to the outlets, right? And I never, you know, I see the Nike outlets and everything. You know, Jordan was my guy, but my my go to guy was Iversons. Like, remember the picture I showed you when I had the Iverson braids and everything? Iverson was my guy, and it was like, um, I remember as a kid, I used to have the the i three. 
I had the i3 uh, wristband, the i3 headband, and everything. I wouldn't be just like Iverson, you know. That he was my, I, mm-hmm. was like, like his swag was just something else, you know. Like, you don't see, you see that like, every day. Nah, bro, he, brought, he brought he brought the street to the fucking court, bro. It was dope. Yo, mm-hmm. I, yeah, yeah. Hey, bro, I, Diaz, I, Diaz, yo. you better be ready when she gets home, bro. Oh no, she's right home. Oh really? Yeah, she's home right now. <laughs> she's talking she's like, like, um, inside the house, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's too quiet, bro. It's too quiet. It doesn't, you know. Uh, fucking my own to here, bro. She's just quiet uh, today. Fuck the uh, pan bacon. I think, I, squash pan bacon, bro. Then dang, so it took it, it took a haircut to make her, you know. Damn, bro. What took a haircut for what? To 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 to, to not you know. I had to come in and press you, bro. I didn't have to come and press you yet. Maybe I should get a haircut every two weeks then. <laughs> every four days, Papa. Every four days. <laughs> now nah, my hair don't go that fast. <laughs> Damn, she clowning you on your braids, bro. Oh, oh, he had braids. He, said he, had, he had braids and just his veins. Oh, yo, no, listen, so I am not, no, no, Gucci, who sounds like, no, no, listen, so I'm not tight, yo. <laughs> oh, man, I just retired. Whoa. I'm no longer a battle, unless someone call me out, or unless I feel like I got some stuff that I could bring out to the battles. That's what yo, I know. Like things might have me prepared moonwalkers, bro. Yo, yo, the, yo, didn't those, um, I feel like Michael Jackson had a brand, a, a, a deal with, what's it called again? LA like Gear. Yeah, he did have a deal with them, right? It was like a black. Yeah. It was. It was. It was uh, I think oh, like, why do I know all this shit? No, I don't fucking remember, bro. I don't know. Bro, I love LA Gears, man. A lot of people. I, I love LA Gears, British night. Like, they showed some of the guys on um on the uh, late sub squad members chat, and they seen some of the British nights that came out like a couple. It was like a year or two ago, and unfortunately. They were going for two hundred to two to two hundred to three hundred dollars retail, bro. And I'm like, British Knight, you're tripping. And I wrote to them, and I was like, and I was talking to them, but they never. Are these legit, though? Yes, sir. One hundred percent legit. Look how much they're going for, too. Look at that! I love that black bear right there. Yeah, oh, so if you think about it, God, I think he's came at eighty seven, right? Did he do this before Run DMC was with Adidas or after? What was that? Like Michael? No, Jackson. it was after, bro. Oh, after, okay, okay. No. So Run DMC, yeah, was exactly after. in the nineties, bro. Like he was. Oh, yeah. I, mean, I thought it was the eighties and everything. Not when I, I wanted the black nah, bro. See? There was no deal before, like fucking um, Jordan Brand. There was no deal. Yeah. Listen, you see those white and black pair? That's the ones I want. I still want them. I just found a pair of fucking random ass mid top fucking SBs, bro. Beat the fuck up. Yeah, clean, them up and clean them up really well and sell them, bro. That's bro, I, bro, when I tell you that I did that shit, bro, and I still got like a buck seventy five for these shits, I'm like, yo, right there, yo, fucking... those are fire, bro. That's all right here. No, the, not those. Hell no, not those. Bro. Those are like some. <laughs> Those are like what are they called? What are those called? Raids or something? The ones they sell on finish line? You know, I get the I get the concept of the shoe right here because it's studs. I feel like yeah, that that's his like, boot, like the boot he wore. Yeah, but no, uh, those white one, those white and black ones right there in the middle. That's right here. In the middle, yeah, no, but the high top ones. Oh, hold on, hold on. let me close this one out. Hold yeah, right on. there. Oh, that's right here. That's right. Yeah, them drums are fire, bro. You sound kind of fire, Henry. I was doing it again. Yeah. That's crazy. What about now? Yeah, you you better, you better. Yeah. Uh, yeah, man, those are my those are my favorite uh of the, the Michael Jacksons, and then um they had these other ones called the the cars or something or kanji something like that, man. They're fire, man. I'm surprised he, they never uh, retro those. Which one? The Michael Jacksons? Yeah. His camp won't let him, probably, bro. Nah, they probably ain't gonna let him. I, yeah, they gonna let him. I feel like he should have did that back in the... um, Especially after after he passed and everything, you know, do something to his They friend. will when their pockets start running dry, bro. Yeah, yeah. I mean, well, 
I think I mean, his, I think his music around. is doing good. His music is doing good now. As soon as, as, soon as yeah. everything starts popping off, right, bro, the, but then the more the more people, the more generations grow, the thinner that money gets. True. That's so true. So. <laughs> I might go live at ten for a little bit. Go live at ten. Every do you think? Get your. Sh- I don't know. Uh, remember, I was talking to you, and I was like, "Yo, I need. I think I might need yeah. a little bit." Yeah, that's true. I think it's dope the way that the way that y'all um y'all stream it and uh, y'all got y'all like bounce off each other stream because like, yeah. years ago ten you know five ten years that shit was not like that really like, every man for himself yeah you know you didn't you didn't really there was no there was there wasn't much shit talking but it was there was no like helping of like promoting you know your your boy or whatever it's way different no, that's it, yeah. it's just dope they do that. Yeah, I, I I I like how how we do things here because like you know it's it, like uh, I look at other streams and everything they argue they go back and forth and everything and I like how we it's like a debate like yesterday was so cool like like even <laughs> even though I had like a little tantrum thing <laughs> it's still a debate and I'm so glad at the end of the day it's like we have a conversation <laughs> and I I called Henry earlier I was like yo Henry. Yo, sorry about last night. Everyone seemed like it was arguing, but it was just like a debate. He was like, nah, it's cool, yo. He was like, nah. Yeah, it, it may look like to them that we argued, but we already know that we was talking and everything because there was nothing disrespectful going on. Yeah, no, nah, um, I didn't I didn't even I, to me, it looked like just having their opinions, but man, yeah. That's how it looked to me. But there's nothing wrong with that, bro. Just go and talking, right? Exactly, exactly. And I, I think that's like the, the best part about it, like we could just share our opinions and everything. Without people mm-hmm. like, you know, can they feelings hurt? You never know what. I don't know what they're talking about. What? I'm mad I can't even see the chat. <laughs> oh, now I'm looking at Melissa's right in with these. <laughs> Yo, Gucci, quick. I think she wants that smoke, bro. <laughs> well, her and Gucci, oh, no, it's not Gucci. I thought it was just, I was about to say, her and Gucci are the same size as she. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I didn't even see the CW opinion. I don't know where he at. Oh, yeah, gosh, oh, oh gosh. Gosh. you see this? She said, take a break, read a book, shower, look for your... Who book reads track. books now? Hey, books like are, are, books, <laughs> books are like for non hypebees I mean, for hypebees Books are for hypebees bro. I ain't gonna front. I got, I got a few books. I, well, I don't read no more like I used to. Hey, 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 hey! Tell, tell, oh, Melissa, Melissa, I'm on episode seven, season three. Yeah, yeah, she can hear you. She can hear you. Yo, J Souls in the building. What's good, J Souls? Just so does everyone. I watch the play by watching the play just the last game. It's crazy. Oh, they playing right now? Sure. Who? He said the Nets and the uh and the Blazers. Uh, I can't watch sports right now like that. It's kind of weird, though. Yeah. I mean, some people say they're getting used to it, but I, I can't, bro. It's just so weird. Man. Nah, bro. I can't. I can't watch this shit. Oh, shoot, Henry. You see what she wrote? I can't believe they killed her mom, though. This, uh, yep. That's you know. why I thought I couldn't tell her anything yet. Yeah, cause... yeah. Cause you told me about that. I, I already knew about that part, but I didn't want to tell her. I don't know if she cried or not. Hey, did you cry? Yeah, she said she cried when they called her mom. <laughs> Damn, Henry, you called it. <laughs> nah, that ain't that ain't it though yet. That ain't it yet. Though. You think she's gonna cry more? Oh, definitely. That's definite. Yeah, I gotta find a show to get into. Yo, I'm nah, just... Yo what's good with Snowfall, man? I wanna watch Snowfall. Bro, you need to try to get into that, John. Trust me, bro. Nah, it'll, it'll, it'll help you learn how to speak Spanish, bro. I don't. I don't have patience. Like when I watch like any, any animes, like right now I'm watching Attack on Titans. Like I watch. I watch dubs. I don't watch subs. And the funny thing about it, I'm not a, a big anime person. The only thing I like my anime is like Dragon Ball Z, and the people like, yo, yo, watch, watch Attack on Titans. So I kind of got into it. So it's pretty. It's pretty decent. It's not that bad. I've only ever seen Dragon Ball Z. And I was like back in the day at five thirty. You know, no, I watch. Oh, you remember that? Okay, you remember that? I watch. Uh, I watch Dragon, Dragon Ball Super. I watch Dragon Ball. The one I didn't get into too much was um. 
Yeah, GT. That thing, ah, that made him yeah. horrible. I don't understand why they did that to him. Bro, I remember my friends. I went to a different high school, but the the kids from Grady and Lincoln used to come to my house to watch it. <laughs> Yo, back in the day, like, like, like. BK, you remember back in the day, like you too, Henry. Remember back in the day, like y'all so anxious to go to about, go to school, so I could talk about what happened on like the last, the last episode of Dragon Ball Z. Like, yo, yeah, bro. Oh, I didn't go to school with that, but it was the, it was the kids that it was it was the whole train ride because I went to um, Kingsborough High School, but now it's okay. Brianna and Goldstein. But it was the same Q train ride with the kids from Grady and Lincoln, so I just became friends with them. Oh, cause they, 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 you ever hear like someone over talk and he like talking with them? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. So then we were just we became friends through that, and then we were just talk about the fucking Dragon Ball Z shit on the train ride to and from. Hey, what do you think's gonna happen today? Yeah, yeah. The crazy thing about that, like, you're not gonna see kids like that, like, be friends like that no more because you know they got um they got what to call it again uh like they see the iPhones and everything. They got have the earphones in their heads. They, oh, they, they don't have personality now. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, well, my dad used to tell me, he said kids don't have an imagination. Nah, they don't, bro. You know, back in the day, we used to be outside for hours playing outside. Bro, you had to fucking kill me off the fucking street to get me to come inside. Only time I used to come inside was, like, to grab something to eat, use a bathroom, and I'm back yep. outside. You know, outside with my friends, riding bikes all day long. Walking to the park, you know. Bro, the way it is now, everybody. I mean, I get the gaming thing too, bro, because I like I love gaming and, and fun. Mm -hmm. But back in the day, as a kid, it was, it was like go outside for like twelve hours, come inside and play games for two hours. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Go inside and play for eighteen hours. Don't ever go outside. Yo, you know the like 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 a year or two ago, right? I'm driving around. Uh, I'm driving around summertime. And I, I drove past a park I used to go to when I was a kid. Empty. The only time the park was the only time the park was crowded with kids, if they like would camp or anything like that, right? And I was like, yo, when I was a kid, when there was no camp, everybody was in the park having fun, having a good time, just being a kid and everything. Like, like, like growing up in the nineties was I feel like like we was blessed to be growing up in the nineties. So, yeah, you know? Like, that that was like the best era ever. You know, it was a little bit of video games, like you said, too. Mix up with you know going outside and playing. Like, damn man. Only if you go back to time, right? Yep. And then you you went to sleep, and the first thing it was a summer day from nine o'clock. My name being yelled out outside in front of my fucking house. Mm -hmm. You had your friends yelling your name outside, like yo, come outside. Or yep. people like knocking on your door and everything. Or sometimes you go to your friend's door, knock on their door. I say, man, like, hey, let's just come outside and play. <laughs> nah, my, my neighbor, bro, was just, Pito! Pito! <laughs> that was it. It was over. Well, and I used to go to my grandmother's house. Her house, like, cause where she lived was, like, residential and everything. So, like, you just, like, knock on the door and everything. But yeah. um, but you remind me, when you were saying that, that reminded me of my boy, my boy Jose. He used to, he used to be outside. He's like, yo, dare you, Dennis, come outside. Yeah. <laughs> It. You out the window like, all right, yo. You, you, you having breakfast? You went from me and Maslow to all of a sudden, <laughs> like jumping. Yo, that shit right, trying to get the hell out the house and everything. <laughs> oh gosh, Not Gucci anymore, and Melissa bro. still going in the chat. Oh man, but yo, man, just those days, man. Those are the days, just going out for a bike ride and everything. Y'all remember I used to come home, and then my sister, my older sister, said like, yo, y'all boys smell like outside. I'm like, what do outside smell like? You know, yeah. I don't know if you ever got that before, but hell yeah, bro. Bro, I, said, bro, I stink. <laughs> when I come back from my bike, bro. Like, yeah, I know I stink, but when she said outside, I'm like, yo, outside have a smell. <laughs> like, yeah, I smell like outside. Yeah, and You're then busy hanging out in the window and a yeah. pillow. Yeah, right. Just, well, she, was, she was, she was like the, cause my older sister, she was like the type of girl that watch a little shows, right? She, you know, I know she might be hype right now, cause they got my stuff on freaking um, uh, on Netflix and everything. Yeah, uh, her, her and Melissa's kind of similar. They both love the show and this movie's foolish and everything, and, and watching Ricky Lee and everything. Oh, Ricky Lee, fucking waste <laughs> the fucking life right there, bro. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, I was more of a Jerry Springer guy growing up. Yeah, he was a little Jerry Springer. I mean, I was never, I brought never a TV person. I would come home to watch sports, to watch the Yankees, watch the Knicks, watch the Giants. Yeah. Other than that, bro, yeah, you go watch the me in front of the TV. Mm-hmm. It wasn't happening. Uh, growing up in the 90s with me, it was like my Saturday morning cartoons, watch my X-Men, my, my Spider-Man, my Batman, Power mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Rangers and everything. Uh, this is the younger me. Uh, before I used to go outside, me and my brother, my sister, my younger sister, we used to be in the room playing with our toys, just having a crazy imagination, just having fun all day, just just playing in the room with our toys and everything, you know? Mm-hmm. Yo, and that, yo, and as a kid, like, you were so hyped about McDonald's, right? You don't even care about the food. You just want the freaking Happy Meal for the freaking <laughs> toy. Yeah, that. Yeah. Yo, I feel like back in the day, McDonald's and Burger King, it is going like neck to neck with the toy and everything. Yep, yep. Like Burger King has some good stuff. Then McDonald's has some good stuff. I was like, yo, I don't know what to get and everything. And I feel like during the Halloween season, I remember the Halloween season, yo. Like they used to have like, the Halloween toys and everything. I feel like that was. That was pretty dope, man. It was dope. But, but the older we get, everything changed, you know? Now McDonald's, yeah. McDonald's is like a cafe and everything. They don't even look like it's appealed to the kids these days. Mm-hmm. So, they don't so, have the, the, the little kitty park thing. To like yeah, the yeah. And it, and uh, yo, you remember? Yo. <laughs> yo, I remember we used yeah. to jump. We used to slide down through the, like I said, no homo. <laughs> we do with the balls and everything. They used to throw it at, <laughs> used to throw it at each other and everything. Yeah, bro. Shit. Kids have no idea. Yeah. Good old times. Uh, I'm not done packing, but I'm, I want to be done packing. <laughs> yo, 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 go do you? I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm about to uh, end this. Henry, you going live? Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll go live. I'll go live. You going live? Yeah, yeah. 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 So I'm, a, I'm gonna end this here. All right. Go right. about Thursday talk. Yeah, you, know, you can put the shoe. Shoot emoji inside the um in the chat. I'm gonna do it right now. What happened? Don't know what. Who's getting married in 2022? Oh. Oh, uh, now I know. All right, let me put the some shoe emoji in the chat, guys. I'm gonna start it off. Bam. Uh, we're about to get up out of here. Henry about to go live. Let's do his thing on his live stream. Let me see. Did he set it up yet? Yeah, he haven't set it up. Uh, I thought like this is a dope, a dope episode today. The kids of the day. A little recap with the true blue threes. Uh, we talked about Starberry. We talked about Spreewell, a little bit of Iverson and everything. Uh, my unboxing. I had uh, yo dribbles. Yeah, don't worry. Henry about to go live though. Uh, my latest pickup, the Tokyo one. It's actually a nice shoe in hand and everything. Leather's really soft and everything. Uh, I hit retail and everything, but yeah. Uh, this is Talking Sneaker episode 15, y'all. We made it to episode 15, so this is pretty dope, man. Um, because what are you talking about, baby? I thought we keep changing dick because we fat, <laughs> yeah. But uh, yo, so let's say right in the chat, uh, let's get those sneaker emojis, y'all. Yeah, dribbles. I, I hit on the um, on the Japan. Uh, what is that? That is the truth. It's because we're fat asses. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I, I'm not disagreeing with you. <laughs> I just read it. It's like laughing and everything. <sighs> we're just going to wait to hit 20 years together. For the <laughs> well, we're still young and everything. You know, she's still in her 20s. I just in my early 30s and everything. But yeah. um, Yeah, what? No shoe emoji? Come on, y'all. Where the shoe emojis at? Another one out, man. You keep on arguing with people in the chat, man. They put the shoe emoji. Actually, you really not arguing with no one. Now you talking about your movie, Selena, I the Notebook, and Juice. I not argue with them. Yo, Juice was my movie, y'all. Juice is a good movie. 
Juice is my thing. Yo, good luck long live the soul. Yeah, Juice is a good movie. Yeah, yo, dribble salutes, y'all. <laughs> I'll take a boot, a boot, a shoe, uh, high heels for Melissa. Let me let me throw a high heel for Melissa. Let me see. Hold on, hold on. Let me find a high heel for her. For her, her high end bougie behind. Let me see. If I can find it. Where is it? Wait, hold on. Uh, only come in red, babe. So you take. There you go. Yeah, the red high heel for Melissa and everything. So yeah, so Henry should be going live soon. Um, yeah, this is episode fifteen, guys. I'm glad you guys rocked out with me and everything. Uh, I'll see you in the next live stream. I'll probably see you guys over there in Henry's. All right, it's your boy DSK147. I'm out of here. Peace.